Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was an American icon. She was an American original, the daughter of immigrants, someone who grew up in a traditional Jewish household and who grew up in a world where women weren't supposed to have their own careers. But Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a trailblazer. She went to Harvard Law School when she was asked, why are you here taking a place of a man? She almost couldn't get a job as a lawyer, and she was the second person to get a law professor job at both Rutgers Law School and Columbia Law School, and the second woman on the U.S. Supreme Court. She's a fighter. She was tough. She was compassionate, empathetic, and incredibly smart. And I had the honor of a lifetime to learn from her, to work with her when she worked on critical equality cases like Roma versus Evans, which came out of Colorado, and was the first case to provide equal rights for gays and lesbians. And the Virginia Military Institute case, which said women could be admitted to this military academy and perform just like men. She later was invited back to speak at that academy, and they thanked her for that decision. She's not with us anymore, but her legacy is. A legacy of fighting for justice, for equality, and for the rule of law as a positive force in society. She was committed to a system of independent judging, where judges would wrestle with hard issues, would engage with all ideas thoughtfully, rigorously, and collegially. We need that more than ever. A lot of people are feeling like they want to give up hope, but we can't. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg never gave up hope. She fought on, and she made an extraordinary difference. And all of us in this moment need to ask, how do we do our part to fight for the values that she stood for? Thank you for joining us all in this effort.